Hey, we are here kicking off fall with a yummy twist on brownies. We are gonna make chocolate pumpkin swirl brownies. How yummy is that? And you probably have everything you need in your pantry ready to go. So I'm gonna start here. Um, I have greased my pan and I used a little parchment in there just for ease of getting them out. And we are gonna start with, I've got a cup of sugar here and I have three quarters of a cup of butter. So we're gonna start there, ooh, yummy. And I'm gonna put two teaspoons of vanilla in here. Of course, I know we're making chocolate, but vanilla always brings out the flavor, and I have a secret hack also whenever I use chocolate, which I will show you here in a sec. So two teaspoons of vanilla in there, and we're gonna get whipping on that for our brownie base here. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be yummy. And one of the things I liked about this recipe, my inspiration recipe was really, you probably have everything you need for this in your pantry and you don't even have to get out your mixer <laughs> to make this one ha happen. So here we go. We've got our butter and sugar mixed there. I'm gonna put in three eggs, one at a time. I'll mix these as we go. You can break these into a <clears throat> separate bowl to start. But I'm gonna live on the edge here and break them straight into our main bowl. Oh my gosh. Um, one. What is your favorite brownie flavor? Really, have you ever met a brownie you had you didn't like? <laughs> Yummy. Egg number two. Whisk, 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 getting my work out here. Put our third egg in. Let's get it going. Living on the edge. Okay, I think we're good. All egg, no shells. Okay. And to that, I'm going to mix. I have pre-measured here our flour and salt and baking powder just for ease of time here. And I have it all ready to go here, three quarters of a cup of flour, along with the salt and the baking powder. Mm. You see our batter? You'll see it here in a second, because I'm about to pour some of it out. So, in order to make our two flavors, I'm going to pour some of it here into this other dish. Give me a second, make sure I got everything in there before I do that. So we've got everything, eggs, yep. Our butter, I get talking to you guys and make sure I got it all. So I'm going to take about half the batter and pour it into here. Okay. And then we are going to take, that's about half. I'm going to take this half and I'm going to make it chocolate. So to show you guys, whenever I use, um, Cocoa, this is unsweetened cocoa. I like to just give it a quick sift, which I could have done before you got here, but I thought I'd show you. Because sometimes there's some little, you know, knobs here, I'll show you. There are in the, in the cocoa, and you don't really want to get a big old bite of unsweetened cocoa in your brownie bite. <laughs> so, here we go. I'm just gonna put it through the sifter really quick. It only takes a sec. And then you don't end up with a mouthful of unsweetened cocoa. <laughs> and my secret hack whenever I use chocolate is always a little bit of instant coffee. Now I have instant espresso here, instant coffee, and I'm just gonna put a quarter teaspoon in. You won't taste the coffee, but it really brings out the flavor of chocolate, just like the salt. There's salt and instant coffee, but instant coffee is my secret to everything chocolate. Just put a little bit in, and it really helps bring out the flavor. Okay, let's try and keep the cocoa in the bowl here. <laughs> it's everywhere. But there's our chocolate layer. Get that mixed up. Oh, yum. And to that, I'm also gonna put a half a cup of chocolate chips, which I have ready to go here. Yum. Oh my gosh, these are gonna be so delish. And these are great for make-ahead, party, after school, office 
treat for your office, potluck. These are gonna be yummy. Okay, there's our chocolate version. And then I'm gonna make our pumpkin version. So our pumpkin part, we're gonna stir into our chocolate. Yummy, because who doesn't love pumpkin? Just ask your favorite coffee place about pumpkin. Uh, so here we go. Make sure I get all of these things in here. I've got half a cup, generous half, 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 half a cup of pumpkin. And this is not pumpkin pie filling, it's just organic pumpkin. And then I'm gonna put our spices in. Regular pumpkin pie spi spices here. So we've got cloves and a, just a little bit. Make sure I got it here. So half a teaspoon of cloves, about a half of that. And then we're gonna put three quarters of cinnamon, a teaspoon of cinnamon here. Um, three quarters, yeah. So I'm gonna make sure I don't get too much on my spices. Don't wanna overwhelm our, ch our chocolate here with our pumpkin pie spice. And then a half a teaspoon also of nutmeg. Now, if you have a pumpkin pie spice already as a pumpkin pie spice, you could use that too. You don't have to have all these separate if you don't. No problem. Use what you have around here. Right? Right. Okay. So there's our spices. And then we're going to mix this and make our pumpkin flavor here. Oh my gosh. Smells so good. Smells just like pumpkin pie around here. Yum. And got everything. Looks like I did. I'm gonna get talking, you guys. Forget something. <laughs> but not today. Today we got it all. Okay, yummy. Okay, there's our pumpkin layer. So we're really gonna take half of our, we're gonna take our chocolate. I have a bigger scooper here. My little one. I love these little ones. I was using this one to get the pumpkin out of the can. So I'm going to take our chocolate layer and put oh, a full. I'm going to save a little bit to do my swirl on the top. But we're going to put most of it in there. I'm saving, oh, I don't know, about three quarters of a cup to do the swirl. So I'm going to spread the chocolate layer in the bottom. This is an eight inch baking pan. Oh my gosh. Yum. It's going to be so good. It smells so good. Nice and chunky with those chocolate chips in there that are going to melt and get all yummy and gooey. Yummy. Now we're going to take our pumpkin layer and put it on top. Yum. One batter, two fl two flavors, mystery surprise brownies. We cut in and there's the chocolate layer on the bottom, but then we we're gonna add the swirl, the chocolate swirl on top here. With all our pumpkin in there into all the corners. Oh my gosh, yum! And then we're gonna take our chocolate and I'm gonna dollop it around, back around on the top here. So dollop. Yummy. All around the top. We have our chocolate chip bits in there. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. And something different, unexpected, little treat. With everything you probably already have in your pantry, all these things. So when you're getting the urge for something fall and different and pumpkiny and of course chocolatey yeah okay so there's our dollops so now i'm going to take a knife and i'm going to swirl just go back and forth you see and swirl that chocolate layer into the pumpkin layer so we have a nice pretty swirl when we pull them out of the oven oh my gosh yummy just for fun, I'm going to add some walnuts, and I'm only going to put the walnuts on half because some people don't like nuts, but those of us that do. And I roasted these for a second in a pan be 
behind me real quick because they were in the freezer. I pulled them out of the freezer, roasted them a little bit, and there we go. Half for nut lovers and half not with a swirl. Pumpkin chocolate brownies, quick and easy, right out, out of the pantry. So I will post a picture of these once I get them baked, and I will also post the recipe, and you know where to find great recipes, hostess tips, entertaining tips, right here at Hostess Coach. Thanks for watching.